Yes. Number one, I appreciate you, but I need to think about it. How many cars do you sell a month? You're not a closer. You're not closing shit. You guys can sell 100 a month. Is there enough traffic? Is there enough leads? Is there enough people? Okay, so we can all do it. Am I right? I was born to be a fighter, had these dreams and desires. I would be something better. Energy got a fire in my soul to keep burning. A pain that keep hurting. A curse is emerging. Okay, you're brand new. I'm gonna leave you alone. How long have you been selling for? Come on, Big Swall. How long have you been selling for? Three years. Okay, you've been doing this three years. They said you're one of the top guys in the game, right? Cool. We're going to test drive 2018 Nissan Altima. We get off the test drive. Okay, ask me to buy the car. Trial closing me. Like the like car? Red yeah, no, yeah, like that. Well, how would you say it? What, if, if everything's going well, like you're ready to move forward, you're going to sign up for the Yes. Number one, I appreciate you, but I need to think about it. What is the thing about it? You like the car, right? Yeah, but I kind of want to go home and think about it. As in what aspect of? Just, the just thinking. Test drive features? Yeah, but I just want to think about it. As in what? Maybe I can help you think about what you have to discuss. Well, I'm just good. I just want to go to the house and think. Okay, but do I got you? Are you stuck? A little bit. Okay. How many cars do you sell a month? 15. When I sold cars, I averaged 70 to 80 cars a month. I want to explain why. You guys can sell 100 a month. Is there enough traffic? Is there enough leads? Is there enough people? Okay, so we can all do it. Am I right? I want to explain to you. Amateurs don't know what to say when it comes. Now, you work really hard. You have a great attitude. You probably love your people. That's why he's going to sell 20 cars a month. Guys, listen to me. You can be an amateur and still sell 20 cars a month, Chris. What I want, Chris, is that you, for you to have the best sales team in the world. So watch this. I'm going to explain the chart line for you. Client comes in. What are we going to do? Master a stranger. Make a best friend. Make a connection. What are we going to do after that? Test drive. Am I right? I mean, we're going to fact find, qualify. We're going to find out, hey, do we need to pull credit on this guy? Can we go to the lot? Am I right? But then we're going to go on a test drive. When we get off the test drive, fill the will seals the deal. On the test drive, that's the first time the customer envisions own, owning that car for the very first time. Am I right? Whose job is to make sure that they feel like they, that they want to own it? Uh, Yours. Yep. Dude, if you're tossing people the keys and going for a ride in the back seat, you are an order taker. You're not a closer. You're not closing shit. So my goal is to help challenge you to get better in some areas. But now, what do we want to do? Take them on the inside and do what? A write-up. Am I right? And then after we get a write-up sheet, we want to do what? Close them. There's four simple steps. Up, test drive, write-up, close. Am I right? We don't need to overcomplicate anything. It's just simple. Now, where you're at is that we're on a, t we're on a test drive. We get off. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, how would you like the new vehicle titled? Uh, Matt, would you like it just in your name or you and your wife? Which way? Mine's fine. Just yours? Come on inside. I'm going to flip and roll with them. Am I right? When I go and he says, hey, well, Andy, hold on. I need to think about it. What do we want to do? Do you want to challenge him on the spot or do you want to advance the sell forward? Okay, I'm going I'm to teach you something. Are you ready? Are you coachable? Okay. You said, what do you need to think about? And what did I say? I said, think about it. So what do you do it again? So you're repeating yourself again saying, well, what do you need to think about? Like what? Do you really even give a shit what they need to think about or do you want to advance the sell forward? Okay, so we're going to change some of your language. Okay? So tell me you need to think about it. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. About it. We're flipping it around. He's a salesman. He's the, he's the customer now. I'm the salesman. Tell me anything about it. About hey, it. totally understand. Of course you need to think about it. Listen, I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. What I'd like to do is give you a quick five-minute proposal of all the numbers so when you go home, you got something to think about. Would that be fair? Could I get that for you? Sure. What's he doing? <laughs> okay. By the way, you could double your sales right now. You know M March is the biggest month of the year? Okay, so do me a favor. Whatever goal you had for March, double it. Crazy. Double it. Come on. Do listen to me. I'm telling you right now. Who, who's got a kid in here? Raise your hand. Six months. Okay. Watch. I'm going to show you something. You got a kid? Six months up. Okay. And how many cars do you average a month? Not how many do you want to sell? How many do you average? Around 20. Okay. Watch this. What's your name? David. Okay. David, stand up. Okay. Is David selling 40 cars a month? No. David selling 20 cars a month. Am I right? You got a six-month-old? Boy or girl? Boy. What's his name? David. Okay. So, David, imagine. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Everybody listen. David, what if someone kidnapped your son, David? War. And they told him they were going to kill him unless you sold 40 cars a month. How many would you sell? 
Plus. Yeah. Sorry. Why somebody got to kidnap your kid to sell 40? Why, why, why do things have to get bad before you guys will really get pissed off and max out? You guys feel me? Go get 40 now while your son is healthy and everything's good. Go do it now. I'm going to tell you one last thing and then we'll part ways on this meeting, okay? Compressed time frames. Everybody say that. I've been able to do in three years what most people couldn't do, I think, in 30 lifetimes. You know why? Because I train my ass off. And also, yeah, I'm mentally strong. And also, you know what else I do? I take care of people. And dude, I'm crazy. I have a psycho obsession for winning, okay? I'm not gonna lose. Everybody bet against me, and I'm cool with that. When I bet on me, and I do the training, and I train in the dark, I develop something inside of me that's called security. And I'm gonna explain what it is, and we're done. So Chris, most people find security in a house, in a car, in money, in their job, in a relationship with their girlfriend. They find security because when they break up, they fall apart, right? When they get their car, they gotta, oh, I'm not making enough money, you gotta trade your car in. They're like, oh, I miss my car. Dude, shut up, dude. Are you kidding me? You know what you guys need to do is learn to build security inside of you, where it belongs, where it belongs in a man or a woman. When I sit down at the kitchen table with my wife and kids, they're warmed to know that dad is a savage. And that if we lost everything today, we're gonna have it all back in a couple months. We're good. I want you guys to know that if you don't train and you don't freaking become a pro and you don't learn your business better than anyone else in this world and try to figure out how to kick your own ass every single day, I'm gonna tell you, man, when, when shit hits hard one day, you're gonna lose it all and the people that believe in you, you're gonna let them down. So I want you guys to know that what we're doing by training Chris is that we're building them up to be secure where no matter what the market does, you guys are going to attack and win regardless. You guys feel me? You guys want that? Yes, cool. So I'm going to tell you, you ever seen somebody walk in the room like a predator? You're like, who's that guy? Like he's going to eat somebody? Yeah, and then you see somebody walk in the room like a little prey. Predator and prey, am I right? You guys got to be the apex predator. You got to be bad which means you guys got to get skilled. You don't want to run around and run your mouth. Okay, make your numbers count. Show it in your numbers. So in March, let's come out the gate blazing. I don't care where you're at right now. You're getting your ass kicked, good, good. But you're not going to get your ass kicked no more. Go look in the mirror, say everything in my life is, is my fault. Okay, this shit, that board, this ain't the economy. This ain't interest rates. This ain't the inventory. This ain't my manager. This ain't bad credit. This is me, dude. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with a friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are, set your notifications, and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.